More awesome mods coming for the Toyota Tacoma. Good morning. Good boy. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. I have some more awesome mods coming for the Tacoma. I thought I'd get on here and give you guys a little bit of a preview as to what uh, what I've got going on, what I've got coming. I also had, honestly, an ulterior motive in making this video, and that was a test of a new mount for my GoPro. Obviously, since I'm holding it in my hand, that didn't work out. So, you know, not everything you do always works out well, right? I had actually started that video and what I did, I just mounted a plate to the bottom of this holder right there um, to attach to the magnet that you guys are actually on right now. Now, I started that video, I'm talking, I'm doing my thing, you know, and then in mid word, the camera falls down. A new camera. Ruined the whole thing. So I reverted to my old method, tried and true, and that is my cell phone, which is attached via a plate on the back to a magnet on the dash. Anyway, I've got a couple of mods coming up for the Tacoma. And like I said, I thought I would kind of give you guys a little bit of a preview, curious as to what you think uh, of what's coming up. Now, I am gonna be a little bit coy uh, with them because obviously I don't wanna give them fully away or there's no reason to watch the videos, right? So the first one, and I've been talking about this and you guys that watch religiously, and I thank you for that, surely know, and that is a way to increase the power of the truck. Well, there's really no way to increase the power of the truck, but there is a way to maybe increase the perception of power to the truck. And that is some sort of a module or a tune. Now I'm not doing a tune, at least not yet, but I am gonna get a module. I call them modules because they plug in and they kind of change the way the accelerator responds, right? Of course, what I'm talking about was either the pedal commander or the sprint booster. Um, I've seen a lot of things that I don't like about the pedal commander. And by that, I mean people that have commented on videos and things and told me some about some bad experiences that they've had. You know, everything from, the truck going into limp mode to just dissatisfaction with the product to begin with and the way that it operates. So I'm not going with Pedal Commander. I've said this before. I am going with the Sprint Booster. Uh, we do have that on order, so it should be coming hopefully soon. Who knows? Parts and stuff seems to be taking a long time to arrive these days. I've had people talk about months to get things, so I'm, I'm hoping that's not the case because Frankly, I'm just not that patient. So we've got that coming. My hope there is to indeed increase the perception of power in the truck. What it's gonna do is change the way that the accelerator communicates, I suppose, with the throttle body. And it should open that throttle up quicker so that it feels like the truck is faster, so that it accelerates faster, which is really what I'm looking for, honestly, in the end. So we'll get that thing, we'll get it plugged in. Hopefully it won't cause me any issues. I don't know, we shall see. Secondly, I've been looking for a way to kind of change the profile of the truck just a little bit, right? I wanted to make it just a little bit different looking. So I've decided that I'm gonna go with a roof rack and I think that's gonna change you know, the, the profile of the truck. It's gonna make it look a bit different. And that should be pretty cool, I think. Of course, there are about as many different roof racks out there as you can think of, right? And the biggest one is, I think, probably the Prinsu. Prinsu, I think, is number one when it comes to roof racks. I don't want a Prinsu. And the reason, and there's nothing wrong with them, don't get me wrong, there's, there's nothing wrong with them. They seem to have a, a good quality product, but I don't want anything that's gonna go right over my sunroof, you know, right there, at least not 
permanently. And that's why I'm going with what I'm going with. I know I'm being coy. This is the coy part I was talking about. That's why I'm going with what I'm going with because it enables me to have full visibility with the sunroof open and not have it permanently blocked or at least as permanent as the roof rack is on. So we're gonna do something, I'm not gonna say it's a lot different a lot of people have them out there but it is something a little different for me and I think a little bit different in the modding community because again I think most people go with Prinsu primarily because of the name they're number one and I think they have a good quality product the other thing and there is a third and this one is probably at the very back of my mind but it's still on my mind and I will say that when something gets in my head it just keeps rattling around in there, you know? I can't seem to get it out until I do it. And that's the case with this one, and that is lights for the sport bar back there. You know, I'm a big fan of the Back to Future era, the Back to Future movies, right? When old Marty, I think it was Marty, wasn't it Marty? Maybe that was the dad. Anyway, when, uh, when he got that truck that had the KC lights across the top. Now, I don't know that I'm necessarily necessarily looking for KC, although I do like them, but I think they might just be a little too dated, you know, for, for the look I'm going for. I want something a little more modern, but on the flip side, I really don't want anything square, you know, because that's not really my thing either. And then the other challenge, of course, will be the wiring, you know, getting that right, and also how to mount them up there. You know, there is a mount kind of in the middle, but I'm thinking more of some sort of a bar, and I believe there is a bar that you can attach where the two parts of the roll bar, the sport bar, come together. So I think I can mount some sort of a bar across there, and it would be right in between the two pieces of the roll bar, you know, the front part and then the part that goes on back, and then the lights could be mounted up above that. Another challenge I have in doing that is the way I park my truck. I know first world problems here, you know, I know, but it's the way I park my truck. And by that, I mean, I park it under a lift, a garage lift. That lift only gives me so much clearance up above the truck. And I don't really want to have to put the lift down and pull in and out over it every time I go in and out of the garage because it's a little tight on the sides and I just don't want to screw with it. I like being able to just basically pull in. I mean, I do have the columns on each side now, but they still give me plenty of room and it makes it easy to pull in. It's not anything I really have to pay a lot of attention to so that I don't clip my mirrors when I go in. And speaking of that, a little story, uh, about two weeks ago now, I think, I didn't tell you guys, but about two weeks ago, I was backing out of the garage. I was doing something, I think it might've been the speaker mod or something. I don't know, but I was doing something to the truck and I had it pulled partially in, shut off, out doing my thing. I jump back in. Of course, I'm done. I'm in a hurry. I want to get out. I want to test it. So I go to back up. And I got to tell you, I must have come this close, this close to clipping the driver's side mirror on that column for the lift. And man, would that have been a drag. I mean, can you imagine breaking the mirror? That thing it has a camera in it. It has the glass in it. Have you ever tried to replace the glass in one of those mirrors? That is a project, but I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. That's probably why I didn't tell you guys because it, nothing happened. So it was a non-event. So I thought I'd share that non-event with you now. So anyway, that's uh, those are some of the upcoming, I think, awesome mods coming to the channel. Um, definitely the Sprint Booster and the roof rack that I'm going to put on should be pretty cool. The roof rack should be here. It might be here today, anytime. So they're coming soon. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think as far as lights go. That's what I'm particularly interested in. Should I just eh, go for the old school and put the KCs up there? Or should I look for something a little bit more modern, but not square? I'd be curious to know what you think. Also, real quick, I have two, that's two, additional channels. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatchback. Check them out, and if you like them, 
I don't know why you wouldn't subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.